hi guys welcome to my youtube channel hope your week has been great for the new viewers um thanks for checking in i hope you subscribe and for my old subscribers you guys are the real mvps today basically we'll be learning how to clean and wash your snail if it's something you are interested in kindly join me in this video we'll be using our mini snails which is not not as big as the regular snails that you are aware of firstly you would have to wash them once you get them from market, wash them thoroughly well while they are alive. After which, after preparing washing them, you put um, some water, some boiling water on fire and put them inside. But in this case, I had it already in in a pot that has water, so I just kept it on fire. After that, you reduce your heat to ensure that it doesn't cook the snail like fastly, and wait a little. So at this phase, the snails are dead and you turn off your heat. It's time to actually remove the snail meat from the shells. One of the benefits of using this method is that you'll be able to remove the snail without um, breaking the shells, which is what I'm currently doing here. So firstly, as a um, first timer in this <laughs> remover, what I had to do is to ensure that I picked snails that were kind of out of um, their shells when they died. So you can see for this second snail, it was a bit difficult to remove. So for that kind of snail, you use your um, knife or spoon to remove it. So for this one, the snail was out. The snail meat was out before he died. So try your best to ensure that you remove, you are able to separate the snail meat from the snail stomach and any fluidy parts beneath the snail meat so um because that's basically the in intestine and all of those deaths which you know it's you won't be able to eat actually um with this method you are able to remove the snail and use the snail shells for other functions you can grind the snail shells for um f uh, i think for feeding other animals and the intestine and the stomach to feed other animals and while you consume the meat so it's rainy season here in lagos and during this period there'll be like a lot of snails and in the market basically and mini snails are actually snails that you can enjoy just like your normal big size snails you can use it to cook you can use it to make fried stew and for this one i actually used it to make um a four euro but this video alone will just be for how to clean your snails you can see that it's not hard to remove the snails because they are out another thing is these shells can actually be used for decorative purposes i've been to places where they are used for decorative purposes before then um a very good thing to note in this process of removal is that sometimes when you get to pick a snail and it smells very bad when you are trying to remove it that snail is actually not good for eating because it means that um before the snail was initially boiled in the hot water it had died normally before you like when you got from market it was already dead so those kind of um snails is not edible for consumption so um the next thing at this point is the cleaning process after removing the snail for the cleaning process i would just like to apologize that i didn't exec exactly show when i was washing this snail but um for this process what you need is either you use your lime your lemon salt alum alum to clean the snail um, this helps to reduce the sliminess and also white cleaning is ex ex uh, essential that you use your knife to scrub um the the snails to remove every dirt and also to divide the snail meat properly some people even use gary to wash their snails but at this stage of cleaning your snails you need to be very patient so kindly note that you'll be using a lot of water to wash your snail because it's actually a slimy animal so it is to draw so because of that you have to clean properly wash it well several times in water to stop this timeliness 
if you stay to the very end of this video i really appreciate you for that and i'd like to know what new is called in your native dialect in my dialect it's called igni thank you so much for watching and do have a great day bye